Well, good morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. I was out talking to Kevin at Farmer Equipment Sales recently, and I'd mentioned to him I had a number of stumps on the property, and I was thinking about getting an excavator, or at least renting one. He said he had something he wanted me to give a shot first, before I went ahead and got the excavator. It's a stump bucket. I've got just the right stump I want to try it out on today. Starting to shape up to be beautiful and warm outside. I hope you'll stick around with me. Let's go tackle this stump. Cheers. As you folks know that watch the channel, we spent a considerable amount of time last year working on Guy's range. Took the land plane, the box plate, got all the rocks out, leveled down the ground, and neighbor Bob came by and dropped grass seed in the fall. Everything's going great, except we've got two impediments. Two maple stumps right in the laneway. As you know up here, the ground is pretty rocky, so it'll be interesting to see how it performs. He brought in two different models of buckets for the summertime. He's got one that he recommends for tractors that are bigger than 50 horse, about 470 pounds worth of implement. And he also has this second one here, which he recommends for tractors that are less than 50 horsepower. Let's go over the specs. made with 516 steel plate. It's got serrated edges right from the toe all the way right back up to the heel. It's SSQA compatible or it will fit on any quick attach front end. It weighs about 164 pounds. Most stump or transplant buckets I've seen have a bit of a different front end on them. Usually there's two or three toes at the head of the bucket. This one's a little unique. It has a flat foot welded onto the front toe. The serrated edge goes right from the toe all the way back to the heel. Most of the models I've looked at, usually the serrated edge stops somewhere around the middle. The attachment is designed for removing stumps, transplanting trees on your property, and it's also capable of digging trenches.
progress. Just gonna keep scooping under and just slowly ripping your curl as you pull back so that the serrated edges start to catch the roots. I gotta tell you, that was awesome. That's impressive. Not only for the tractor, but that stump bucket, it works. Just take your time at it. Probably took me about 50, 55 minutes. It was just under an hour from the time I started. Just gonna keep working those roots. Dig it in, rip it backwards with the curl. The root system on these trees is remarkable. The one big problem I had today is I couldn't get my tractor up on this hillside to get the roots on the west side of the stump. So I had to keep working them around from the north, south, and the east sides of the stump and slowly get my way under. And <laughs> I couldn't believe how many boulders I hit under there. But that stump bucket, she just kept driving through. With all of the rocks I kept hitting and encountering underneath that stump, I thought for sure this bucket was gonna be damaged. But uh, notwithstanding a little bit of dirt, looks just like when I put it on this morning. I just wanted to take a moment to thank Kevin and Dave at Farmer Equipment Sales. Another good quality piece of equipment for the tractor. It's going to save me a little bit of money. I don't need an excavator for these stumps. This will work just fine. Thanks kindly for sticking around with me today. I hope you found it informative or enjoyable. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful week with your families and a safe week. And most of all, be kind. Now is somebody going to help me clean this up? <laughs> Cheers.